Hey everyone, Jeff Schwann here again with Schwann and Associates, back with another great feature of Everlance. If you have the premium version of Everlance, there's a feature called Work Hours that enables you to auto classify trips within specific time frames. Let me show you how this feature works. So if we want to open up the app, Everlance, we'll go to our menu and we scroll down, we will see work hours. Remember this is a premium feature, so you have to have the premium account. Current plan premium, um, it is $60 a year, $5 a month. So it's not that bad of uh, at a price point, it's a good investment. Anyways, here we can see work hours. We want we can enable the work hours, and here we can set our schedules. I myself have set my schedule here from Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And so the trips that I take within these times will not be classified. The reason I don't want these to, to be Class, automatically classified for me is because you know me driving to the office is not considered a business trip right but sometimes I might not go straight to the office I might go see a client before going to the office in the morning right so it's always not fixed so I want to keep those classified or I want to keep those trips unclassified so I can go in and classify them myself but usually anything outside those hours like after 6 p.m., not very often I'll go see a client after 6 p.m. And not very rarely will I see a client on Saturdays and Sundays. So with outside of those hours, I have selected to auto-classify them as personal. Now, if you have a more fixed schedule where you know exactly what you're doing, you can set those specific times and you can, you can change the unclassified to work so that within those hours, you can automatically classify those as work hours. So if you're in the construction industry, for example, and you're always going to a job site, and then you're going to another job site and another job site, you know, you might want to auto classify those. Just one more way to um, just automate the tracking of your mileage. So that's all for now. That's the only feature that I'm going to point uh, introduce here uh, please subscribe for more videos to come where i will show more great tips and more great features within this app thanks again if you have any questions please reach out like the video comment and i look forward to you watching my next video